Jens Polzer feels fortunate to be a part-time stay-at-home dad. He says it's helped him build a closer bond with his youngest daughter, Greta. I couldn't be in a happier place when it comes down to combining my family and my work life. Mr Polzer's employer recently introduced a policy of 12 weeks paid parental leave for both men and women. A report has found that three in five employers now offer it in addition to 18 weeks funded by the federal government. That's a 60% increase in eight years since the data started being collected. The industries with the lowest rate of paid parental leave include accommodation and food, retail and administrative services, where there are highly casualised workforces. Many have shifted from offering maternity leave to women to offering it in a gender neutral way so that men and women can both access paid parental leave. But few fathers are taking up the offer to be primary carer and mothers still account for 88% of the leave taken. I think there is still an element of stigma attached and, and gender stereotypes as well about men taking parental leave, um, but we are seeing a shift. Daniel Wood from the Grattan Institute is calling on the government to step up when employers don't. Right around the world, what we see is this trend towards uh, more generous leave provisions and, and more gender equal leave. So the best practice countries around the world are now offering a year uh, or more parental leave for new parents. Australia, at a minimum, should be looking, I think, at 26 weeks for, for each family, uh, including use it or lose it leave for dads and partners. The Grattan Institute says that lifting the leave period for all families will cost the federal budget about $600 million, but it will deliver economic benefits of about $900 million, including getting more women back to work. It's good for men's mental health, uh, it's good for family wellbeing, and really importantly, it, it's good for the children's emotional and intellectual development. More than 80% of employers pay superannuation on top of paid parental leave. But of that group, just 7% offer super when their employee accesses the government funded scheme. There's a big gap in terms of the gender superannuation gap between what women retire with and men retire with in terms of their savings. Um, and investing and, and covering superannuation on paid parental leave is one of the ways uh, that we can start to address this gap. Hello. <laughs> Mr Poser says childcare is another obstacle in getting women back to work. I would certainly find helpful if Australia would have more accessible childcare at um, probably more affordable rates. In the meantime, he urges more dads to take time off work to raise their kids. Give it a go. Give it a try and you will probably be very positively surprised of how much you get out of it. The nation's economy could also get a lot out of it. Thank you.